if you're with me so far, you have big problems. It's much easier, given our human nature, to go right into paralysis and take no action because the implications of this are absolutely staggering. We come up with these kinds of questions, which are valid. Uh, our government wouldn't do this to us. Well, we're not saying your government did this to you. Somebody was responsible for this. Somebody, somewhere on the inside. We don't know how high up it goes. We don't know how wide it is. I would have heard about it by now. You are hearing about it now. I didn't hear about it until two years ago. It couldn't have been kept a secret that long. Well, the Manhattan Project had thousands of people. It was kept quite a secret for a very long time. I'm not an expert in controlled demolition. Well, wait a minute. Neither am I. But you are the jury, and you have an obligation to make a decision. Guilty or not guilty is typically the decision. In this case, explosive controlled demolition or fire. You have to take this information, process it through your brain, and come up with a decision and then a course of action. I'm going to help you with the course of action. The decision's a little more difficult. And don't do this. It's too horrible. I don't even want to think about it. I did not even see this stuff tonight, the worst form of denial. You avoid the debate, go back to sleep, and become a part of the problem. And it is a huge problem in America. America is asleep at the wheel. Very few of us know about this. You, we've got to get motivated with this information and take action based on your response to this rational, scientific, forensic-based information. Work through your fears. Yes, there's fears. If this happened to us, then it could happen again. Then who's in control? Who did I vote for? There are a heck of a lot of questions. We have disbeliefs and mindsets that are contrary to our acceptance of this information. There's no way to get a handle on it for a lot of us. I'm a Reagan Republican. Consider what I had to go through. We got to get informed and inform every other architect and engineer that you can find and everybody else that you know. Support a new investigation. Support these people who demand a new investigation. How about 200 9-11 survivors and family members? 110 military intelligence law enforcement and government officials, 170 distinguished professors, 110 entertainment and media professionals, all endorsing a call uh, for a new probe into 9-11. Visit patriotsquestion911.com and look for Andres von Bülow, the former defense minister of Germany, who says this is unthinkable without year-long support from secret apparatuses of the state and industry. How about Francesco Cosiga? who says the disastrous attack was planned and executed by the American CIA. How about Yukisha Fujita, traveling around the world today, prominent senator from Japan, demanding a new investigation. And Paul Hellyer, former minister of national defense of Canada. I'd like to see a much tougher, more in-depth inquiry. We have to try to get at the truth. Well, what happened to the truth? Let's take a look at this quote from William Colby. Maybe it can shed some light. The CIA owns everyone of any significance in the major media. That's a heck of a statement from the former director of the CIA. What does it mean? It's documented in many places, including Project Censor, dedicated to bringing all of us the 25 most censored stories from the mainstream media. Why did we not see the truth about 9-11? Well, it appears as if our government lied to us about the building collapses. The 9-11 Commission report reinforced that lie. FEMA and NIST justified it. And the corporate media repeated it, and they hammered it in. We really didn't have much of a chance. Now, we've shown here today that explosives were used to destroy each of the three World Trade Center high-rise buildings on 9-11. And it's known that it takes months of planning to set up and engineer and place these explosives. Do we think that Al-Qaeda had access to these highly secure buildings? So unfortunately, this is just the beginning of a disturbing but very essential journey for you back into the nightmare of 9-11. 
The evidence you've seen tonight is just a small fraction of the vast body of information that the 9-11 truth movement has assembled. The questions raised are numerous and ominous that must be answered in a new investigation. I encourage you to discover the evidence that I have not had time to bring to you tonight. It will take thousands, perhaps millions of us. Each one of us, therefore, in this grassroots movement has an ultimate responsibility to take the information that we provided and disseminate it. Get the DVD. Loan it to everybody you know. You must become a truth bearer. Email the ae911truth.org link along with a statement saying check this out to every architect and engineer you can find and everybody you know. We will turn heads in the halls of Congress. <laughs> Check out the other great DVDs, including 9-11 Mysteries, which you've heard several clips from tonight, and some great books by David Ray Griffin, including the New Pearl Harbor and his latest book, 9-11 Contradictions. Check out Loose Change, Second edition and final cut. There's some great information available there. And go to Journal of 9-11 Studies.com and Stephen Jones's website, stj911.org. Demand a real investigation. Call and write. <laughs> Call and write your elected representatives. Write your local television stations, radio stations, newspapers. Call in to talk show hosts. Write to national TV and radio networks. Tell everyone you know. Ask questions. Demand answers. Sign the AE911truth.org petition. Sign it demanding a new investigation. Stand up and be counted. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Everyone can sign. Architects, engineers, and all else. We have several categories of people. Millions of people are studying these matters. They're called the 9-11 Truth Movement. For the average person and for anyone that has looked into this to any degree, there is no uh, shortage of information, evidence, that of course the buildings were blown up. Why is it that it is so difficult to get people to simply just look? There is difficulty. I mean, it's not even easy for me as an architect to say, I've been studying this for two years. So. Uh, People aren't open to this. I, I hear that. Uh, sometimes they are, and it's refreshing. What you need to do is get one of these cards, and we provide it. We've got uh, hundreds of architects. We stick our neck out on the line for you. Let them call us conspiracy theorists. All you have to do is say, hey, there's a, a couple hundred, 400 now, architects and engineers demanding a new investigation. What do you think? You know, you're not saying, hey, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Here's my conspiracy. No. Uh, blame us and ask them, what does this picture look like to you? I'm just curious. Nine times out of ten, they'll say, it's an explosion. It's a mushroom. It's a volcano. It's incredible the, the responses you get. Support us by becoming a sustaining member. You can make a difference. We are a nonprofit organization that has our hands tied for lack of funds. We need to get the word out to the building professionals. For $10 a month, as little as that, you can become a sustaining member. Architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth are at the apex of the 9-11 Truth movement. Why? Because we have those who have the necessary credibility to raise eyebrows and gain attention. We need to get the vinyl banners, the DVDs, and the brochures into the hands of the real heroes of the 9-11 Truth movement. The people willing to get the message out on the street. We are change, truth action, project for a new American citizen. These folks need your support. We need to act. The power of truth is greater than the power of the lie. So get informed and begin to let the truth speak through you. And get informed with, through our website. You have all the information you need. Sign the petition here. Follow the red arrows. Become a sustaining member here. It's real easy. Given the numerous warnings of far worse terrorist attacks and war plans against Iran that are in place, we need to do something. Speak out, because a time comes when your silence is betrayal. Thank you so very much for your attention today. Thank you.
Thank you so very much. 